Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a March update. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. It is for at any time in March. I've already done one Aquarius reading. I will tag it to the end for March. We're just going to see what comes up for Aquarius. What do we got, dear God? Angels, spirits, and universe for the sign of Aquarius. What do we got? Choice. Choice. It's your choice. Red is a color of passion as well. It's your choice. What is your passion? Where does your passion lie? You are going to be faced with making some sort of choice this month. That's for sure. No doubt about that. Okay. Choice. Power. You know, red is also a color, it's a power color, so it's about, you know, owning your own power, taking back your power, um, where does your happiness lie, you know, what's going to make you happy, and I think that's what's going on, you have to make a choice as to what is going to make you happy. Where, where do you want to offer your love? Maybe you're not feeling loved right now. Maybe you're not feeling like you're getting the, the uh, emotional contentment that you deserve. And you may be bored in your current situation and you're looking for more. You're looking for more, whatever that is. Ooh. Six of Wands reverse. There's there's lack of recognition here. There's lack of confidence. Um, perhaps lack of strength. You need to you need to make the choice that is best for you. This is no victory and success in a current situation. Seriously, it's like progress isn't being made because somebody isn't following their heart or something like that. There's lack of emotional fulfillment here. But that you have to make a choice if you want that to change. Some sort of choice. Ah, temperance. This is a card of evolving. It's a card of renewal. It's a card of healing transition you guys are going through a transition right now you're probably not the same person that you used to be right you're not you're probably evolving at great speeds you're changing um you're on the journey you're on a journey right now to find balance and i think that you're seeking balance there's some opposition. You're dealing with some opposition. And perhaps you know that you're going to need to make some compromises. But you may have to deal with the indecision that you're not, that you're dealing with. You're, it's like you're not making a decision. You, this is not, you need to make some sort of choice. And you may be in denial. Fear could be in the way. Absolutely. You probably know what you want to do, but you can't do it for some reason. Fear is in the way. It's like you're postponing the inevitable, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. Because you're changing. You're not the same person, and it's, it's like it's eating you alive, and I don't know where that's coming from. It's like your whole foundation is being shook up. And I think this has to do with some sort of partnership, or it may have to do with your living circumstances. I don't know. But I think that right now you're probably emotionally detached from a situation, but you're reluctant to move forward because of, I don't know why, fear. You have to make a choice, and it's like you know that you need to make a choice. You know that you're not the same person. It's like, I, I just want peace. I just want peace, and I feel like that's what you want. You want peace, but in order to get peace and harmony in your life, you're going to have to make some sort of decision to go after it. If you're in a discontent living situation where you know there's no victory and success, it's, 
there's consequences for the choices that you make and that you don't make. It's like you guys are cheating yourself. You're robbing yourself of victory and success. You're robbing yourself of emotional fulfillment by, I don't know, living some sort. This is deception. You guys are her feeling probably lost inside. You may be feeling incomplete. You may be holding on to a dead end. You may have some unfinished business that you're dealing with. Um, there's a feeling of emptiness and feeling lost. You know, it's like perhaps it's really time to step over that finish line, but you're, you, maybe you're, you know, your fixed sign. Change is scary. And you're going through changes. You have a better opportunity, and I think that you know that. I think that you do know that. But I think there's guilt. There's guilt here for some reason. And you, there's no need to hang on to guilt. There's no need to hang on to this despair and anguish and sadness that you are holding on to. You have the ability to choose another path. But I think you're setting, sitting on the fence and you're delaying choosing another path. For, I don't know why. Only you know why, right? You have to have faith. I feel like you know the truth is you're not the same person. You know that you, were, you have evolved. You know that you want to go in another direction. You know that wherever you're at, there's emptiness. But facing your fears about change is huge. Somebody is in a commitment or a partnership that isn't harmonious at all. It's troublesome. It's incompatible. There's fighting. There's bickering. There's um, probably a breakup on the horizon if it hasn't happened already. Definitely fighting, bickering, pettiness going on. It's like a lot of tension. And the only way that you're going to find relief is to remove yourself from the game. Stop playing the game. But I can see that you're reluctant. You're reluctant because it's what you know, right? Thinking about walking away. You, you're thinking about it. You know, you're taking a lot of time to think and make sure. <laughs> the hermit on the bottom. You're definitely thinking about it. You're thinking about, you know, what's going to make you happy. And I think that where you're at right now, somebody is in a partnership that is robbing them of happiness, period. Could be it could be a work relationship. It could be, but uh, there's definitely a partnership that is incompatible here. It's not compatible, and there's, there's a feeling of emptiness and a feeling of this isn't what I want. This isn't who I am. You know, this isn't uh, fulfilling me, and I want something more in alignment with who I am. You have to make a choice. To follow your own passions. Somebody is so afraid of change. And it's because you're a fixed sign. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is an energy. This could be you needing to take on this energy of confidence, courage, strength, willpower. You need to find that force within you to hold your head up high. Swallow your pride and take a new adventure. <laughs> follow your passion she's the most passionate queen where does your passion lie find the courage to go in that direction baby steps you're being tested your strength your willpower your perseverance is being tested oh god you guys are in an unhappy commitment right now somebody is in a commitment or a situation could be a living situation that they are not happy with there's no there's no growth here i'm not passionate about this there's no desire to even be there you know why because you're not the same person you used to be you're ch you've changed 
You've evolved. You're going through a transformation at this time. Things are a little up in the air. You're looking for something better. You know there's something better out there. You realize that there's a better opportunity. But facing your fears and taking that blindfold off and dealing with any upsets that come by making the choice to go your own way is scary. You deserve somebody you're compatible with. You deserve to be treated fairly. You deserve balance and harmony in your life. Many of you are trying, like I think I said this, if not, I was thinking it. You're on the journey. It's like you're trying to find balance. You're trying, seriously, you're trying to find balance. Well, it's your choice. You have to make a choice. You, you do. You do. The two of cups, twos are choices. Okay, you got the two of cups reversed, two of swords reversed, and then this choice card. You have a choice. You have a choice to make. Do you want to stay in this unhappy situation or do you want to follow your passions do you want to take the power back in your own hands do you want to take control it's up to you some of you are not putting in the effort you're not putting in the hard work you're not doing what you need to do to go your own way you need to take back control you, this is the devil reverse is take back your power take back control take back your life break free of the bond that are the yeah the bond that you are stuck in you may be in a situation because you're codependent if it's a relationship you don't want to be alone you have a fear of being alone you may be in a relationship because of materialistic reasons you may be staying in the job just for the money you know we do that kind of stuff right there's there's things that need to be cut out of your life you need to you need to sever ties with that is toxic for you you need to remove the toxins from your life but the only one that can do it is you you have to make the choice to do so there could be addictions that are in the way there's old habits that you need to let go of you need to you need to fly away you need to come out of this cage you need to get untrapped you need to get unstuck it's your choice Somebody is not putting in the effort to free themselves when it's time. It's time to free yourself. You have evolved. You've got to find that strength. You have to. You've got to find that courage. Swallow your pride. Make that decision. Stand firm in your decision. You are strong enough. You guys, like I said, you've lost passion for something. There's no desire to be there. There's no, there's no spark left. And it's time for you to get unstuck. You, yeah, it may be a struggle. But you, but sacrificing yourself needlessly is not practical it's not fair to you tomorrow isn't promised somebody has been wasting themselves wasting themselves wasting their time sacrificing themselves for a situation that they don't have any desire to be in and that's the truth there's no spark the spark's been put out. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries Leo Sagittarius. I think I said Pisces. This is Pisces. This is break free. This is break free as well. Break free is huge here. It is time to break free. You deserve balance. You deserve peace. You deserve harmony. You're not the same person. Follow your heart. 
You definitely could be dealing with a Pisces. There's deception here. There's lies. There's secrets. All is not as it seems. There's something hidden here. Somebody is holding on to something that is very dissatisfying. There's no more growth. It's time to relocate. But there's fear of conflict. I don't want to deal with conflict. You're afraid of biting off more than you can chew, right? There's difficulty in communication. There's like fear of communication. It's like you want it, but you just, there's too much fear. You're scared of conflict. Somebody is scared of conflict, but staying in a situation that is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. There's no passion. There's no growth. I don't want to be here, but I don't want to deal with conflict either. But don't let people step on you. You're going to grow a bit more bitter and resentful staying in this situation with each passing day. Did you know that resent and bitterness and hate and anger, resent cause, stay, is caused from staying in a situation that doesn't make you happy? Did you know that those things that I was just saying, bitterness, resent, hate, anger, not happiness, that stress, stress kills? I see you growing more and more resentful with each passing day because you're in a situation that is very conflicting. There's a lot of conflicts here. There's a lot of back and forth arguing. And there's no compatibility. And you have a better option. So for many of you, you know, I think that you guys are, are in the process or you have just gone through a separation you're dealing with some pain right now. There's a lot of hurt. There's grieving. There's guilt. There's depression. There's sadness. There's regrets. But you have to find that strength. You have to find that strength to face your fears, to let go of these hurts, and to deal with the pain. You know, I feel like there was a false contract that is coming to an end. I think there's a love contract or some partnership that is coming to an end, whether it's work or or love, a relationship. There's a contract that just isn't compatible. Somebody knows that they want more. But finding the strength to deal with the conflict that will be imposed by speaking your truth and following your heart and following your passions and taking the power in your own hands is inevitable. It's inevitable. It's scary. You're, and, 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 you know, you are a fixed sign. Right now, you have to make a decision. You have to make a choice. All you are doing is postponing the inevitable. And you know exactly what this is about. I don't even have to tell you because you know. You know. Everybody's situation is div different. It's Mercury retrograde. I can't speak for nothing. This is holding on to anxiety and resentment as well. There is fears and worry holding you back. It's time to find that strength to face them. So I feel like this is a time of perhaps speaking your truth, being assertive, making that choice that is going to put you right back in your power. This just fell out in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. It is. Believe it. Anyway, 
in the flow. We've had this card many times. Let go of the shore. Enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. Everything is falling into place. But you cannot resist the drift of the great river of life. Do not resist it. Enjoy the ride. This isn't time to try to control the events of your life. Let the Creator support you. The glory of the universe flows through you. It is not always easy to let go of the shore. However, this card is urging you to take a risk and let go. Take a risk and let go, please. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there's a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. And that is what's going on here. It's time to go. You know what it is. You have a difficult choice to make. But it's time. It's really time. Good luck.